Hey, what's up, guys? It's me. It's been a hot minute. No skull thing today because it's like way too hot out and I don't want to have a heat stroke. So, not a, for once, it's not a, um, what's it called? My day's been ruined. Now, yours will be too. It's actually another MS Paint Explains because I like doing those and I find them fun and they're cool. So, uh, I saw a Tyler Oliveira video with my family earlier. It was very fun to watch and entertaining. It was on flat. Oh, I'm not going to. Hold on, uh, uh, this, hold up, let me do the big thumbnail, red circle, flat earth, I know, insane, right? So I'm just gonna be like, exp I, I thought I would use Microsoft Paint to explain why flat earth is very dumb and stupid and, uh, just dumb. So let's go with, uh, number one. Oh, my throat, I just like, might have burped in the mic, that's my bad. So. Let's start off with a Buenos Aires or like Argentina flight to Cape Town, South Africa. I think Cape Town's like here and uh, Buenos Aires is like somewhere over there. I think maybe. I don't know. Post production me, but but where they actually are. So like you know, normal Earth. Yeah, easy, simple. Like handful of hours flight. Ladder. Let's just do the same little project, right? Also, I'm assuming most of y'all are, like, smart enough to not need me this... Oh, I said them like, this goober to explain to you how it's fake. I'm just doing this for fun. So, like, let's look at the two flight patterns, right? So, we're going to have the same flight pattern, relatively straight. Uh, That would curve with the Earth and all that, so I'd be, like, nutty law. <laughs> you don't... It doesn't take a genius to explain how this couple hours translates to... Circum global flight, you know, like a couple out, like hours. I'm, I'm repeating myself one more word. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, right. I guess like thousand, maybe fifteen hundred miles into two to ten thousand, depending on how you scale in the earth and all that. Right. Speaking of, this is the official flat Earth map. So if anyone comes at me like. Oh, you're not using a real map. It's fake. Ah, bleh. Uh, I forgot to walk out. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Oh, jeez. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah, then uh, exhibit B here. We got South America and Africa compared to, you know, Asia, Eurasia and uh, what's it called? North America. Looking at these two. Let me just zoom in here. Uh, hold up. I can't, uh, I can't slide. I can't like scroll in right. That's right. So South America, big thumbnail type circle. It's pretty, pretty big, but not that much bigger compared to North America. Africa is like, probably like, let me just like, you see old hand on the monitor trick. Yeah, it's like more or less size of like this like a little bigger give or take but you can see how they're like pretty reasonably not that crazy different sizes and all that so let's compare it to exhibit b flat like flatter yeah i'm doing this like a exhibit b okay so south america went from being approximately the same size to let's test this with the old again hand on the monitor trick Literally reaches from the uh, Panama-ish canal area to the center, like the North Pole. Yeah, uh, let's do the hand on the uh, monitor test again, because, no, I'm going to grab the camera to show you. Oh, yep. Y'all see the, like, the hand, oh, hand, oh, hold on, hand on the monitor, right? It's, like, south, and, like, Panama to, like, Greenland and all that. Uh, and then we go over to here, right? Also, not to mention that how fat Africa looks. Anyway, but so we go to we do the hand on the monitor trick. Yeah, for some reason I feel like that's a lot bigger, right? You know, it's not just uh, the fact that it's like twice that that just that just has to be some globalist like messing with my screen though. You know, it has to be some like something like that. We also talked, we also uh, mentioned how, like, it, why am I holding the camera still? Oh, yeah, so you can see me pointing. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyway, how Africa is, like, 
that big on the other map. All right, let's take Africa just, you know, size-wise. Wow, that grew a lot. Africa must have, uh, nah, I'm not going to make, I was about to make a BBC joke. I'm not going to do that. That's kind of untasteful. But you'll get, you'll get what I mean, though, right? Scaling just stuff doesn't work. Oh, hold, hold up. Oh, wait, the wire's all screwy. Hold up. We good? I think we're good. I think we're really putting the same ish spot. Okay, yeah. Uh, exhibit C, probably the most abhorrent of them all. How Antarctica is like. Okay, this is just. Well, let me actually just go grab a picture of like from Google Earth or something like that. No, I'm gonna do this in on the Google Earth. Let me also uh, just like. Okay, got Google Earth loaded up. Where on Earth am I? Why am I looking at? Oh, that's Point Nemo. I think I was at. Okay, so. Antarctica. This is probably like the best of all of them, right? So it's round-ish. It, it it like fits. Kinda like how uh, we got well, not showing the ice and all that, but hold up. Y you get what I mean though. This is all normally a polarized caps and whatever. Hold on. Map. Man, this is a crazy map, huh? Just how far do I gotta zoom? Oh, I'm super zoomed in. That's why. Oh, it's because it's uh flat. Right, hold up. Man, I gotta like I can I'm actually gonna have to edit this one. That's crazy. I don't really have to do that. Yeah, like North Pole. You see that compared to like Antarctica? It's pretty reasonable, right? Anyway, back to MS Paint. What I titled this video. We got Antarctica down here, and it's pretty normal-ish size with, uh, like, polar ice expansions. So, uh, that goes from being, uh, probably about the size of, like, North America-ish to, oh my word, that's circumnational, well, not, not circumnational, uh, not circumnavigate, uh, globe, the size of the whole world, right? And then, you know, you have flat earth people like oh how do, why can't we go down there what's stopping us military bases so all right let's let's see where these bases would be well you, you get what i mean not actually be but okay you need like one two three like four five six seven eight or like nine or give or take like let's just say 20 you have 20 bases down here right all right, let's put these 20 bases that are same spot down, same, similar spot down there, right? All right, we got our, like, Australia one and two. We got, like, the Indian Ocean couple. We got the, uh, like, you see what it, you, you, you get what I'm getting at. It's, it's, like, the scaling of this is, like, nutty. Like, you need, like, so many bases. And keyword here people to manage the bases and i'm maxing up the bike to tell you all that you need people you need a ton of people that's like not just like you know guarding a continent that's like that's like an empty continent of ice and that's it you can just put people on the coast and all that now you need people like all over this flat mess to keep it you know guarded and whatever so once it's guarded and all that, well then what? Oh, how are we going to staff them? How are we going to feed them? How are we going to do logistics? Keyword, yeah, the, no, our, uh, uh, oh, my name's stroking out again. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, but um, logistics, that's the nightmare here. You could probably acquire a couple million goobers who to guard, you know, like NASA. Oh yeah, that's another thing. NASA is apparently like the devil itself to these people. Anyway, but yeah, no, NASA could probably like kidnap a couple million uh, deal classes and have the SCP Foundation. <laughs> nah, I'm messing, I'm messing, I'm messing. But still, logistically, this would be a nightmare. Second, it's winter, freezes over even more, getting ships through. 
where are they going to get all the food? Where are they going to get everything? The shipping manifest, ship tracker, all of that's NASA. It's NASA, I tell you. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Just having too much fun. Anyway, but for real. I keep saying for real, but y'all you, you, you know what I'm getting at. It's a dumb, and that's, I don't have to even bring up the uh, most flagrant argument of seasons being just a nightmare. So it's like, here's our like, summertime circle, right? So, okay, I can see, you know, the, eh. yeah, that's like our summer. Then everything else is winter, and you flip the two. Uh, so, like, here, cir uh, curvature of the earth. Okay, I can see how all that summer, and look, like, all of that down there is winter, or vice versa, then, you know, tropical belt, or coffee belt, whichever you want to call it. They're pretty much chill. But, you see, you can tell, okay, it's because, again, hold up, hand on the monitor. Actually, I can just drop off, I don't need to do all that. That's the same amount of effort. Alright, we got our two balls here. Earth, and, whoa, I didn't know we changed about that. And sun. And if you ask Flat Earther, this is probably the scale. So, uh, yeah, let's just leave that. So we got... And of course, curvature of the Earth, right? You know that. Uh, we got our, like, again, widely not the scale. North and south. So north's getting all the like, little heat, and then vice, so vice versa. That's why that's hotter in the summer, and that's why that's colder in the winter. You get the drill. And, you know, again, you flip the two. The south will eventually, uh, you know, be the one up top. Well, not up top, but it'll be, like, a north. It'll be, It'll be like that, north, south, yeah, anyway. Problem is, you put that flat, that don't work. Because, the you know, they have, like, the model of the sun is, like, uh, on, like, our little sun light area, which, again, also doesn't work, because, you know, it's like, okay, here we go, our sun, our light sphere. Oh, seasons, okay, it goes up here. Hold up, how does it pack it? That has to get light. So it has to be down here. Oh, but wait, hold on. It's also sometimes daytime. It's day it's also sometimes daytime here. But wait, hold on. No, it's also still daytime up there, but oh uh, no. It doesn't work. Then the, the again, uh exhibit like D or A or whatever we're on at this point. It's like, but how come I can't see? All the way around the Earth. So we got a little, uh, we got Jit standing up here, right? He sees, like, all that. Boat dips below the horizon. But ha it doesn't dip, you stupid idiot. Because he's standing on a flat plane. Well, it's like, he's standing on a flat plane. And then, if he has a super DSLR camera, he can zoom in or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's called the light. That, 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 that's how uh, light refracts and all that. Uh, I'm not smart enough to explain that one to you, but then again, neither are half the flat earth people who say electromagnetism keeps you from flying away or something like that, so. Oh yeah, again, gravity, uh, I don't even need to draw a model for that one. Y'all can just like, uh, hold on, let me just grab something like. Yeah, earth's flat, that don't happen. This thing is staying in permanent stasis. So, for real... Uh, I'd say this for, like, the, uh, little shits and giggles. Uh, y'all subscribe for, uh, high effort content. Be on the lookout for a actually pretty cool Stormworks thing I'm gonna be doing in a bit. Y'all, if y'all saw on the TikTok a long hot minute ago, or been, or have the same memory from seeing this forever ago, uh, y'all have an idea what I'm doing. But for real... Uh, it's been ready to so see y'all later, I guess. I don't know. Uh, don't fall off, don't jump too high, or you're gonna fly away. Yep. Uh, good bye. What's up, YouTube people? It's uh, just post editing ready to here. I wanted to let y'all know to check out the uncut channel, it will be linked in the description. There, I'll be putting up the uh, whole editing process and what it was kind of like. and. So you get an idea of why these videos are like not efficiently made. Uh, also going up there in probably a week or probably like within the week.
is going to be a really, well, not really cool, but it's going to be a footage for a project that I'm going to be doing also. Y'all will probably like it. I hope. Maybe. And uh, like and subscribe and all that. There's going to be some main channel stuff coming in probably like a month or two. I'm guessing. I oh, don't know. I'm not like the most efficient at making more videos and all that, as you can clearly tell. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. And uh, goodbye. Like, subscribe. We're all breaking kneecaps.